Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Asian Psycho, and today we're going to get started on the M4A1 Assault Rifle Review for Arctic Combat. So, just to, uh, just to get the statistics out of the way, the M4A1 is a very weak, damaging assault rifle, having only barely 4.5 blocks out of 10, and uh, the spread on the uh, M4A1 is 4 blocks out of 10, so it's very low. The view kick is 5 blocks out of 10, the rate of fire is a 5.5 block of, out of 10, and the movement speed and range are the same for basically all assault rifles. So what this means for you, because the statistics aren't necessarily numerically based, so you're kind of like, huh, what does this mean? What this means for you as a player in Arctic Combat is that the M4A1 translates into a very, very high rate of fire, but low damage assault rifle. In other words, this is a freaking powerhouse at basically close range to middle range virtually because of its high rate of fire. Its rate of fire is exceptionally insane. In matter of fact, it has the highest assault, uh, it has the highest rate of fire among any assault rifle in, in Arctic Combat. The only competitor to this, or to the uh, M4A1's rate of fire, is the ACR and obviously its clone or its variant, the M4 Custom. Uh, because of its rate of fire, um, you would expect that, you know, okay, because this thing has a high rate of fire, you know, maybe it has a high recoil, which is not the case at all. Recoil is virtually non-existent. It is second only to the ACR in terms of its relatively low view kick. The ACR has, I think, the lowest recoil in the game as far as assault rifles are concerned, but the M4A1 is just barely underneath it. There is literally no... There's almost no view kick to speak of, either because of the fact that it really does have no recoil, or because you kill people so goddamn fast it doesn't even matter. <laughs> so, overall, the M4A1 is an extremely high DPS assault rifle because of the fact that it has such an insane rate of fire. Its damage is actually so low that it's even weaker than the default G3. That's how weak it is. But it doesn't matter because the rate of fire is just so insane. It makes up for all the all the cons that the M4A1 might have. So because of the rate of, rate of fire, it, which obviously, as you guys can probably tell, is the strongest pro about the M4A1, the rate of fire makes up for basically everything. It makes up for its it's otherwise very low DPS. It makes up for its otherwise low DPS time. Did I just say the same thing twice? I think I did. I apologize. And it just it, the rate of fire is what is what makes the M41 such a great assault rifle, and what makes it such a consistently perform. Oh, I shouldn't say consistent, but it makes it such a potentially dangerous assault rifle. The reason why I don't say consistent is because of the fact that the damage is still in the end very, very low. You can spray this thing at long range and people will tank it for days. Sometimes the sometimes it can drop really fast, but because of the because of how damage profiles work in a com in Arctic combat, damage the the bullets sometimes aren't very reliable. Um so you know you may waste an entire clip on someone with the M41, but sometimes they just don't drop. That is the main downside of the M41 is that the per damage uh, or per bullet damage, it's not very strong. So people just don't drop sometimes. And uh, oftentimes when you use M41, it's just kind of frustrating. You know, like, why didn't they drop? I put so many bullets into him. That's the main downside of the M41. But that's why you're not supposed to use that long range. For it's the M4A1 is basically only virtually meant for close range and middle range. Sure, you could take down people at long range, but for long range engagements, you should just basically use the ECR or pick up another gun off the ground. That's you know it's better at long range. M4A1, because of its high DPS, is only really and you know really weak damage per bullet. Um, is only meant for close range engagements and middle range engagements if you ADS and you know hit all your bullets on target. So yeah, that's basically what it means for you. High damage assault rifle, very scary at close and middle range, but at long range you don't need to re really worry about it too much. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, the M4A1 is arguably one of the best assault rifles in the game, just below or if not on par with the AK-47. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later.